Hello, we're back on our wedding planning escapades. Today we're in South Farms and we're with Sarah Warden, who is helping us with our flower choices. We're so excited. Yay! Flowers. Sarah, tell us a little bit about what you do. So I'm a floral designer. I have my own business, Sarah Warden Natural Design. Um, I do custom floral design for weddings, so I don't have a florist shop, but um, I meet with clients like this, we talk about their flowers, and I, I do their wedding, including some decor aspects. And I also often do wedding planning, including here at South Farms. It's a gorgeous venue. Thank oh you. God. And there yeah. have been tours Love going it. through, like tons of brides. Yeah, it's a beautiful and spot. It's gorgeous. Yes, yes I love it. Awesome here. Okay, cool. so where so do we talk about your well, um, you guys filled out this questionnaire, which I often like to start with because it kind of helps get the ball rolling. Right. Um, but one of the things I just try to do, which is a little bit of a challenge, is if you could sum up in like a few words, just kind of the vibe you're going for, not even just for the flowers, but just for the, the whole event, you know, like the look, feel, vibe that you're trying to capture. Michael, what would you say? Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> I, think uh, I think it's a classy, shabby, chic. Kind of Ooh, wedding. look at that! Just, you know, he that. hasn't been coached at all. He's good. He's really good. <laughs> anyway, yes, it's um, classy, shabby, chic. Okay. I love the vintage, uh, romantic, soft, very pale Simple. colors. Simple. Okay, so, so not fussy, fussy. You no. Know? So when I hear that, um, shabby, chic. Um, usually means to me like a little bit of a looser look for the flowers. Correct, yes. Like you don't want like a tight I don't like bundle. those tight bouquets, like okay. all roses packed in. No, more I like the trailing ivy, stuff like that where it's softer. And... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so for the colors, I know you said sort of like a paler pink, yeah, pink and you're gold, using some gold and yeah, stuff. And off-white or white, I'm not sure. And then the guys will be in navy. So the navy is kind of our darker accent color. Do you have linen selected already? No. Okay. Okay, well we can talk about that. Okay. But um, So for the flowers, the way that I usually work, I try to source a lot of local uh, materials, which is something we can do in August, which would be awesome, yeah. especially for what you do, that would be great. Yeah. Um, but one thing I rely on heavily, and we can steer more in this direction or less, is like integrating a lot of um, foliage and like textured elements like that. with the blooms, yes. which yes. also helps cost. Yeah. Are there any other colors you want to record? What was the flower that one? Hydrangeas. Right. We were thinking hydrangeas for on the tables, maybe like just a vintage vase with the thing of hydrangeas. Is that? Yeah. I mean, that's so it's way simple, to go. but it's it's probably cost effective too, right? Yes, that's that's, that's one. I mean, there's different ways to be cost effective. One of them is to keep the design minimal, which yeah. would be like an example like that, getting a cool container doing a lot of one thing yeah. because then you're not doing the nitty gritty right, design. Right. Um, another way is to, like I said, you know, amp up lesser expensive materials like foliage and stuff and just do okay. touches. Yeah. Um, but I love the cream hydrangea and in August we actually have the paniculata hydrangea growing here. So I was going to say like paniculata but I didn't want to like be a show. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for your input, Michael. You're yes. welcome. It's always good to have the groom. That's why I'm here. <laughs>